Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to Better at Volleyball. So you're here to learn how to do an underhand serve. Well, good news. I'm going to teach you what you need to know in under four minutes. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to share a bonus tip that all beginner servers need to learn. All right, so the first thing is you need a place to practice. Unless you're getting a lot of time to practice in the gym at the YMCA or in your school gym, you need somewhere that you can go practice extra. And that's why I'm making the video today at a sand volleyball court. I want you to start thinking about the other places that you could find to go practice. Practicing an underhand serve is just the same at a sand volleyball court as your gym. And the benefit is most of the time they're open all the time first come first serve and you can practice as much as you want as long as the weather's nice and the sun's in the sky if you don't have sand volleyball courts in your area let me know in the comments all right so the first thing that's going to set us up for a good underhand serve is our stance so since i am right-handed i'm going to do everything as if i'm right-handed obviously if you're left-handed you'll do the opposite but because i'm hitting with my right hand i'm going to step forward with my left foot and i'm going to keep my knees a little bit bent and i'm actually going to plan on bending at the waist as i'm holding the volleyball down so this is the proper stance that i'm going to start with Next, I'm going to use my non-hitting hand to hold the ball. I'm going to hold it straight down in front of my hitting hand, out in front of my waist a little bit. I'll point out that I'm just going to hold the ball. I'm not going to toss it. I'm not going to move it around while I'm swinging. I'm just going to hold it. We're going to hit straight out of my other hand. I'm going to do this by hitting at about a 45 degree angle under the ball. Next, let's talk about I need to make a fist that is as flat as possible right here for the contact that I'm going to make with the ball. A lot of times beginners will make a fist like a punching fist and then their thumb gets in the way and causes all kinds of problems. We want to tuck our thumb back and make a flat surface to strike the ball. If you would prefer, you can try a semi-opened uh, palm strike kind of hit that's perfectly legal, or once you're more advanced, you may use just the heel of your hand. All right, so now I'm ready to go. I get my stance. I have the ball hanging down in front of my hitting hand. I have my hand shaped the way I should, and it's simply backswing and strike the ball. I'm just going to strike the ball. Now, I believe most beginners should be able to do that without moving at all. But if you practice that motion, you keep the stance, you strike the ball as hard as you can, and you can't seem to get it over the net, another option that can give you a little more power is if you take a step. And it's a little bit strange doing it out here in the sand. You may not be able to see me step as well as if I were in the gym, but you can practice that as well. And what we're doing when we take a step is we're using our body weight to transfer momentum while we strike the ball and it generates a little further hit. If you found this video helpful, give me a like. Consider subscribing so that you see future videos about how to play volleyball at a better level. So are you ready for your bonus tip? Thanks for sticking around. Usually people think that we have to serve from the back right corner of the court. Some School gyms still have a line on the floor that shows that you have a server's box. Well, that rule no longer applies. Now, you're allowed to serve from anywhere along the end line, anywhere between the corners. So if you're a beginner server, stand in the very middle until you figure out how to control your direction and you just want to focus on power, stand in the very middle of the end line to give yourself the best chance that when you do hit it over, it's going to stay inside the court. Until next time, good luck on the courts. Oh, come on.
Is it recording?